Hey guys, Marley here, and I am back with another part of my Ego Living Let's Play. And as promised, I am following a different family in a different neighborhood today than I was last time. Yes, today we are in what I am calling The Compound, which is a retirement community um, with three families currently living in it. Uh, and they basically like... Their whole gig is that they all live together, they live off the grid, they have like their vertical gardens and they recycle and all of their energy is done through um, solar panels and they collect their own water. They are 100% hippie off the grid, um, like eco lovers. There is an antagonist to this story. Her name is Elise Waters. She lives across town in the second retirement community of the quarry where they care about being upstanding citizens and um, like upholding like a look to the community. They don't really like this hippo, hippie, ego lifestyle thing going on over here. And this part of the series is going to focus around the Naps Wars, which are basically the people over on this side of the fence voting for free love and um, to wear no clothes and to save the environment. And the people on the other side of the community are going to be voting for modern development and things like that that will make them theoretically look good. So our two Sims and this family are an old married couple. We have Mia Knight over here, her skills and traits. Yes, I learned where they are. Um, they are a slob, cheerful vegetarian. She is a visionary ENTP, and she wants to be a master chef. Then we have Brianna Knight. She is a recycled disciple, a goofball who loves the outdoors. She is unattractive. Um, I don't know why. And the doer, ESPT type. She is also a collector, and she wants to be a freelance botanist. So right now, Mia's in here cooking some salad for breakfast. We don't have power right now. I think that we ran out on the solar panels last night, but the sun is coming back up. So luckily we will be getting some more power very soon, I believe. But that is okay because I can show you here from the map that this is where the Waters family lives. This is the other retirement community. They have like a more modern apartment building and we have what I like to call the compound. Um, Obviously, here are other families. Here's the slums over here. Here is Conley, which is going to be the third and final family where we focus on the Eco Innovator career, living over in Conifer Station. Um, okay, so let's see what we can get doing this morning, ladies. Very nice. There are some other characters who live here as roommates. This is one of them here. He is Justin Sadler. He is married to... Um, is this his wife? Is this his wife? Nope. This is Elise Flood. Elise lives in this more... Um, I tried to make it look like an Airstream. I don't know if I got that right, but that's the vibe I was going for. And then this is his lovely wife, Erica, over here playing the violin. They obviously live over in this little, little house. Obviously, none of them have private bathrooms or kitchens as we do run off the grid. So everyone shares appliances and toilets, um, showers over here. They also have a little area where they can make candles. I thought that would be a fun hobby. They have, um, actually, I think that I'm going to replace this with the juice fizzer since they do garden here. They have the kids' activity table, a TV when there's extra power to be used, a coffee machine, the works. What I think I'm going to do is go ahead and turn this into a juice fizzer just because I think that it fits in more with what we're doing here. Okay, so I've actually replaced their candle making with a juice fizzer because I decided last minute that I think that that fits the vibes better. Are you good, girl? Why don't you go pee? Do I have autonomy off again? Hello, Morgan2018, playing The Sims 4. How are you today? Um, and Brianna here has cooked some breakfast for everyone. She's made some garden salad. We should be getting power soon. We do have the solar panels going. Might have to invest in some wind turbines, but they do go without power quite often, to be frank. Can you come in here and clean this up? Today, you're the community cleaner because the roommates do not clean up their own messes. Um, and you want to get that recycling money anyway, so go ahead. Brianna's having her lunch. I think today we will have them invite the family over for some good old family times at the compound. Also, we will introduce you to um, their children and their grandchildren. 
and then we will find the community board. I know there is one here and vote on some naps. Actually, can we do that from the mailbox? That would be great. Petition for repeal. Okay, so how do I... Voting is currently closed. I didn't think that it was currently closed. Let's go ahead and check our neighborhood action plans. Right now we have Foodies Unite. Again, voting starts at 8 a.m. What does this actually do for us? Neighbors, let's get cooking. There are so many fabulous, organic, homegrown, freebie ingredient options out there. Crack out the cutting board and start experimenting. Under the Foodies Unite nap, members of the community will be rewarded, influenced by exercising their tasty skills and home style gourmet or any other kind of cooking. Okay, so that's what's currently implemented. I'm telling you right now, we're going for free love next. Um, and then I think there's one where you can be a nudist community. Is that not... No, that's not real. Okay, so we're going for free love next. We're also going to go for clean energy production, uh, power consumption. We probably like sharing is caring. What is back to the old days? We play board games and read books. So that's going to be one that our opponent is definitely going to do. Um, awesome. This part of Let's Play, I think, is going to be a lot less structured than the other two, where I actually have, like, a solid plan. This one is more of, I created the characters, and I really like the characters, and so I want to um, tell their story, but in a less structured way. Just kind of follow their lives, traditional Let's Play style. So let's go ahead, and what I want to do is actually put the family into a club so that I can call them over. Um, let's create a club. We're going to call it the Knight Family. Um, it is going to be invite only. Sorry, if you're not in the fam, you can't get in. We're going to make it a rainbow because our matriarchs are a lovely lesbian couple. And in here, we are going to add our family. So here is the first glimpse. We have a Colette Knight, our daughter. Everett Knight, our son. Sierra Knight, our daughter-in-law. And then they both have children. Um, why can't I add the children? Is there an age requirement? Is there a reason? I know that Colette has a toddler, which may be why she can't be added. But I'm pretty sure that Everett and Mila have two kids as well that should be able to get added. So just let me check. Okay, they're not showing up. At least we can, we can scratch this idea for now. What if we plan a social event and we do like a barbecue today? Oh, and we have power. Also, sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. It sounds like she's tearing something apart, but I'm trying to record The Sims, so we're gonna let her. Okay, the whole family is summoned. Um, amazing. Now we can introduce you to them and have some lovely family times today. Where do they spawn on this lot? Over here. So let's go see the family. Um, the little toddleroos are spawning in right now. I love that. Hello, this is our daughter-in-law, Sierra. Our relationship isn't that great, but that's okay. Why don't you call her over? Why don't you call him over? Why don't you call her over? Um, this is our daughter-in-law, Sierra's son, Cohen. Cohen is a toddler. We also have one daughter named Colette who has um, Allison as her daughter. They should all be arriving shortly, but maybe Sierra brought both the kids over and the other two aren't coming. We shall see if your parents arrive, I guess. Um, are you in here talking? Yeah, so you're just in someone else's house chatting. That's okay, open community. And why don't you give her a heartfelt compliment? Let's try to really build this relationship up for whatever reason, you don't really like each other, but let's try to change that. Um, we are going to also discuss interests. Aw, the babies are here. Okay, this is what we were really looking forward to. Why don't you get little Cohen and give him a loving hug? Brianna, where is our little granddaughter? Um, why don't you come in here and maybe you can take her out back. We do have some kids toys plopped right back here. Why don't you come take her to slide instead of watching TV? You come get Allison. Our roommates have paid us bills. Okay, that doesn't really exist in this world, but sure. Um, and have our other kids arrived or will I have to summon them again? That is the question. Oh, our son is here. So this is Everett Knight. 
He is their son. Can I see his traits from here? No, he is an adult. Um, Cohen is his little boy and Sierra is his wife. And then where is Colette? Because I love Colette. She is one of my favorite Sims that I've ever made, and she was made on accident playing with genetics. So let me see, is she here? I don't think that she showed up. So what I'm gonna do is just summon her again. Oh, this is so cute. She's just in here with little Cohen, um, hanging out with him. Why don't you, um, first of all, why don't you go chat here? Bring the kid outside. Bring him out of the stranger's house. Are you playing with your grandchild? This is so sweet. So Brianna is outside teaching um, Allison to slide. And you can see that she got her curly hair from her grandmother. I love that. All the kids are biologically theirs. It's The Sims. If I can, um, you know, how am I trying to say this? If I can use genetics, and I'm going to use genetics, and all the child, the children are biologically theirs don't know how but they are and we're just gonna say that it's a feat of science um why don't you joke about politicians you can discuss local fishing spots oh or we could go swing together that would be nice right yes no maybe uh why don't you evangelize vegan beliefs that'll be funny and it looks like colette is still not here i am Moy confused. Yes, she is. She's at the front door. Amazing. Um, can you please come let her in? Let your daughter in. I absolutely love Colette. She is not married, does not have a partner. She does have one daughter, Allison. She is a young adult. And she is honestly one of my favorite Sims I've ever created. Accidentally or on purpose. Um, can you just get a glimpse of that face? Give her residence keys. I want her to come around and visit all the time. Can you please just let me look at that beautiful face for one second? What are you doing? Let me look at you. Uh, she's so difficult right now. I mean, look at her. How can you not think that she is one of the most beautiful Sims? And she is straight up just a genetic mix of her two parents, which just shows how beautiful her moms are. I mean, look at that face. She just looks mischievous, you know? Um... And Brianna, this is her baby girl. They are very close. They, Morgan, you're back. They are very close. They love each other a lot. They have a lot of um, a fun together. They are also, you know, they're a little bit closer to Alex, Allison than Cohen just because they don't see him as much. Um, uh, Colette is a little bit more of a busybody who is um, down with the hippie lifestyle while Sierra would prefer her grandkids not really be around the free love swingers thing. But today, she is being very nice about it and actually having a really pleasant conversation here. Little Allison is just watching, hanging out, thinking about that slide. This is some very cute mother-daughter bonding times right here. We love to see it. Colette's story will be kind of um, pushed into the story. She's around a lot. The story of Allison's dad and uh, her kind of being just this kind of um i don't know how to say this in a nice way but she's just kind of a mess like i envision her to be a mess all of the time but that's great you've been hanging out with family can you go ahead and come um harvest these since you are the farmer of the bunch just go ahead and harvest all your plants we also have some of these vertical gardens put up i think it's amazing um, and a flower arranging station in case they decide to get into that, which they very well might. We have lots of free time here on the compound. She's sad about not moving fast enough. My body isn't as the same as it used to be. Yeah, sis, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm only 20 years old and I feel like I can't move sometimes. Also, uh, no one tell. I'm just going to cheat up her bladder need a little bit. I love you, I cheats. I just found it like a week ago and I use it quite frequently. Um, and you're already getting tired, bless you. You're going to be ready for bed very soon. But I do just want to get some carrots. I want to see if Mia here wants to get into a fizzing. So what we're going to do is... You should have carrots in your inventory, my love. You do, and flowers and apples. I feel like apple juice would be the best fizz. So let's pass them over to Mia. Mia, can you come here and make us a fizzy drink, please. Load ingredients. Ooh, 
this is very fancy. I've never done the fizzing thing before, so I'm glad that we are starting it up now. All right, let's load up three apples and see what we can get. Yes, I know you're hungry, but you can have some fizzy juice once you finish it. Um, why can't we start fizzing? Okay, well, we're still loading our ingredients. While you're doing that, I think, Brianna, we are going to end the night by grilling everyone some hot dogs. So come clean that out, and then we will get it grilling. Actually, some veggie dogs, because your wife does not eat meat. And can you start fizzing, please? Well, all right, guys. This looks to be about all my game can handle for the day. Um, sorry this part's a little bit shorter and no face cam. Things are a little bit hectic around here right now, and I don't feel that great. But I hope you're excited to follow this family in our... But I hope you're excited to follow this family in our three family series of Eco Living. I am very excited. I think that they are so adorable and the drama between them and the other old folks community is going to be hilarious. Um, in the next part, I will introduce you to the Conley family where we have one young girl trying to finish school and also become an eco innovator and save the world. That story will be very closely linked to the slum story. In fact, it may even become a point where those two are combined. Who knows? Um, but for today, this will be all. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoy having you all here. And I hope you come back for the next part. Thanks and bye.